Well, welcome back everybody. Boy, do I have a dandy for you guys. Just look at this gym. I'm not quite sure what the year is because the, the tag on the seat pan is completely worn off, but judging by the steering wheel and some of the decals, some of you guys smarter than me will have a better guess. I'm gonna guess and say it's probably in early 90s. Um, but I don't know these hood decals. Normally, if it was that later model, it would say Toro on here somewhere. So I don't know if somebody's changed those or what's going on with it. It's definitely had a, uh, a rough go at life so far, it seems. Now it does appear to have, what is that? I mean, it should be a 14 horse Kohler since it's a 314 Hydro, but I don't see any stickers on here or badges anymore. It looks like it's been repainted, but it's definitely a Kohler. And from what I can tell so far, it looks complete. Now, a little backstory on this. You guys remember the B100. That was one of the, the first revivals I did on the channel. I put that up for sale. I had a guy get a hold of me here locally and he ended up buying that off of me. And this was part of the deal. He threw this in with it. So I guess you'd call, call it a partial trade. But he told me that it was running. They had it running, but it's burning oil really bad. Uh, but he said the hydraulics on it and everything work, which leads me to where I want to go with this project. Now, the guys that have been on this channel for a while, one of my first videos I did was uh, a lighting upgrade on one of my 3088s. That tractor there, I had done a Predator 212 swap on it, and I've stuck a snow plow on it. And it's been a good, dependable tractor, but call me lazy, I'm wanting to get a hydro unit with a snow blade. Uh, another tractor I've got you guys haven't seen, I've actually got a 416H that I did a Predator swap on that's got a greater blade. So I kind of want a hydro unit to go with that 416 and I figured this, you know, would be a good place to start. Why get a good running one whenever I can build the one how I want to. So this is probably going to end up being a multi-part series. I don't really know how I want to go about doing it yet. I don't really know the proper way, but I'm going to end up doing an engine swap on this. I know you purist out there is going to yell at me for taking off a good Kohler, but like I said, he told me it, it was smoking and I don't know, I want to do something different. So this is going to come off. I think, I think the way I want to do it, this first video, I want to go through and try to get this engine running, confirm what might all be wrong with it. And then we're going to be stripping it off and stripping this down to get it ready for an engine swap. And hopefully by the end of the video, I will have the new engine in, in, in hand and we're gonna be getting it mocked up, ready to go. I don't wanna ruin the surprise yet because I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's nothing new, but it's something new to me and I've always wanted to do one. So yeah, I think enough rambling for now. Um, I won't bore you guys with the details. I'm gonna get a battery put on this and try to get some fuel going to it and see if it runs. And while we got it running, we'll check the rear end, make sure the hydrostatic works and the hydraulic up and down works too. So let's get to it. Got to be using my trusty old jump pack here, which has so far worked out great. Pretty black oil, but some in there. Doesn't smell like gas, but it's definitely old. The guy I got it off of, he was nice enough to keep the tarp over it. So even though it sat outside, it shouldn't have got too wet. This tractor here is set up kind of like the B100. Well, kind of. It's got a fuel tank under the rear seat. So it's got a fuel line running from the engine to the back. And I haven't even looked, but, huh, you know what? That thing's about full of gas and it don't smell bad. This might be easier than I thought. We, uh, hell, I was gonna cut that fuel line and put an auxiliary tank on it, but that don't smell bad at all. I think we just get to cranking on this thing and see what happens. Huh. 
It's got a Wix air filter on it. That's funny. I wonder how old that is. Tell you what, I'm going to jack the rear end up on that thing. You guys that watched the video last week of the Long Chief, I'm sure you saw me almost drive it through the wall of my garage. So since then, I've been a little more leery about when I start these settings, making sure that, you know, God forbid, I actually be kind of safe. So we got a battery to it. We kind of have gas. I guess let's hit the key and see what happens, guys. Mm, nothing. So the brake switch. Be responsible. Let's check the spark. All right. You guys watch that. Let's see if we get a spark. I don't have much ether left. Still don't think it's picking up gas yet. Whew. If you guys could smell that. It smells like burnt popcorn. <laughs> wow, he wasn't kidding. That thing is cheeching. Man, that thing's pushing oil. Well, we kind of saw that. That was too easy. Fired right up once I turned the petcock on on the fuel tank. Well, it's the next day. You guys saw we got this thing running. It's burning oil real bad, so we know the engine's hurt. Don't really know what's wrong with it. I know, again, I could go through and rebuild it and keep it to the tractor, but what fun's that? So I think today we're going to focus on getting this engine tore off uh, as neatly as possible because I'm not going to scrap it. It's going to go in the parts pile. It'll go with the other engines I've got. Who knows? Maybe somebody will need some parts off of it, or maybe I'll decide to rebuild it one day because these Kohlers are somewhat valuable. A lot of guys like these things, so... I might just get you guys set up and do a little time lapse. You guys can watch me. I'm not going to explain every nut and bolt. It's just going to be a matter of, you know, choke cable, throttle cable, engine harness, fuel line, stuff like that. So we'll get that ripped off there. I'll bring you guys back when I'm done.
Real quick, I wanted to show you guys this oil coming out of this rear end. I'm trying to get this fuel tank out of the way so whenever I go to clean it, you know, it's, uh, there's more I can clean if I get it out. Well, the one of the bolts for the fuel tank goes through this support bracket on the bottom and the filter's right in the way. And this was gonna get changed anyway, but I figured I'd show you guys how nasty this stuff looks. Last one of these I took off was a genuine wheel horse too, but I can't tell what this one is. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Man, oh man, is this thing gross. I've worked on quite a few of these guys and this one, this one might take the cake on it. I'm sure you guys watched me struggle there for a little bit. I had some broken bolts, some other various issues, but we got it stripped down pretty much as far as I want to go with it. So next thing up, we'll probably roll it outside, hopefully clean some of this crud off of it. That way we got a nice clean slate to start on whenever we put the new engine on. But, man, all kinds of creepy crawlies everywhere. Definitely gonna need a new belt. I think that one's got some use on it. Well, I'll catch you guys outside with the pressure washer.
Man, this thing looks a hundred times better than it did. That's mostly rust there. Man, this thing had so much built up oil and stuff around the transaxle. Paint actually came around pretty good. Clean all that stuff up. Still not perfect, but you guys know there's nothing worse than working on something that's covered in grease and oil and all that nasty stuff. So we got it tore down, got it cleaned up. Now we just gotta put an engine on it. So look what the UPS man brought me today. Oh, let's see what's in the box. Now I'd mentioned earlier in the video that this isn't anything new. People's been swapping these engines on stuff for a while now, but this is the first one I've ever had. And I've been wanting one for a long time. So I found this one all the, uh, I'll put the link in the, the video description. I got this one from AliExpress. It was the cheapest I could find. Uh, eBay, they're like 210 bucks. This one on AliExpress, shipped from California, free shipping. It was like $155, give or take. So let's open this up so I can show you guys what it is. Oh yeah, man. They really didn't want this thing coming open again, did they? Okay, after cussing and crying, finally got it open. Ooh, look at that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen these, but. Oh, boy, oh boy. Oh yeah. I say diesel what oh yeah single cylinder I think it's a 196 cc diesel engine kind of cool don't mind it being covered in styrofoam I mean what do you expect it made its way here from China probably sat in a warehouse for god knows how long but look at that I guess according to the spec sheet it's only like three and a half horsepower which I think will be plenty. All this tractor is going to do is push a snow blade. So I think it'll be fine. Pretty cool looking little engine. Got your fuel line going down to your, I guess you'd call that your injection pump. Man, that's cool. Well, guys, I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger like that. I know you're as excited about that diesel engine as I am, but I'm out of time. I need to go through and get this footage put together so I can have this out for you guys to watch tomorrow morning. Um, kind of go over what we've done here. You guys watched me strip the engine off of it. We stripped the body off of it, cleaned it as good as I can get it for now. Um, and that's what I didn't mention earlier. The whole reason I stripped the body off besides wanting to clean the chassis is I think we're gonna try to do some painting. I know, sounds crazy. Uh, I've got a cheap paint gun going to get some good paint. We're going to try to actually respray some of that sheet metal. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, next video is probably going to be getting the engine mocked up, getting it bolted down, getting the belt drive figured out, making sure that's going to work. Uh, oh, and that reminds me, when looking for that engine, I did find that they are now offering an electric start kit on it. So that should be pretty cool. So we'll have a video of getting a wiring harness made up, getting the electric start working, putting a battery on it, uh, yeah, like I said, I got a whole bunch of stuff planned for this tractor. I got a whole bunch of parts coming and that's really what's taking so long is just waiting for stuff to come in. You know, it's a holiday weekend this weekend, so everything's getting kind of pushed back a day. So, uh, you guys just keep doing what you're doing. I saw we're over 700 subs now. We're getting closer to that 1000. So if you guys are liking the content, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. I know you guys are tired of me talking about it, but it really helps the channel out. And to be honest, these projects are getting kind of expensive. So if we could get some money rolling back into it, I'd, it'd be awesome to be able to do some more stuff on the channel and, and uh, won't have to wait so long for parts to come in. So, but as always guys, I appreciate everybody who's watching, commenting, I've been reading them all. You guys are chock full of good ideas, suggestions, advice. And uh, yeah, like I said, you guys are awesome. You're what's keeping this channel going. So keep doing what you guys are doing and I'm gonna keep trying to get some content out. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. 
and uh, have a good one.